Welcome back to my channel. It's Wendy with Lipstick and Lace and today I have a delicious meatloaf recipe to share with all of you. First I'm going to make sure that I have a nice clean surface to prep on and I like to use my Mrs. Meyers Clean Day Multi-Surface Cleaner. This one is in the apple cider scent which I love for fall it's one of their limited edition scents and I'll also have a link below for you in the description box so you can purchase a cleaning set or a personal care gift set that's free with your first $20 purchase so it's a really nice deal Just getting our surface all cleaned here so I can prep our dinner. It looks nice and clean. What we need for the meatloaf is one pound of ground beef, one onion, a can of tomato soup, and that's just a small can, about 16 ounces. Two eggs, ketchup, some pink Himalayan salt, garlic powder, and some ground pepper, and then also some Worcestershire sauce. And we're going to use a cup of oats. And then the sides for this meal, we're going to have some baked potatoes. I am going to cook those in the Instant Pot and some roasted Brussels sprouts with garlic powder. And those I just roast up in the oven. They come out too mushy if I put them in the Instant Pot with the meatloaf. But you could use some carrots or a firmer vegetable and cook those in a foil pouch alongside the meatloaf if you want to. So I'm going to add in just a cup of water to the bottom of the Instant Pot and add my potatoes in there and then just put the trivet on top of the potatoes. That way I can set my foil pouch with the meatloaf in it on top of the trivet to cook. Tonight with our dinner, we're just going to add some butter, cheese, maybe sour cream or ranch dressing to our potatoes, some bacon bits, and just have them baked potato style. And to start out, I like to make the topping that goes on top of the meatloaf, and then I just set that aside. So I'm using half the can of tomato soup about a tablespoon or two of ketchup a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce sprinkle in some pink Himalayan salt I would say about a teaspoon, some black pepper, and I'm going to add in a tablespoon of brown sugar. And this is what makes the topping so delicious. And then just mix that all up until the brown sugar is dissolved.
Once I get that all mixed up, I just put it in the refrigerator until I need it for the topping. So now we're gonna mix up our meatloaf. I have one pound of ground beef. We're gonna use a fourth a cup of ketchup. a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, sprinkle in some pink Himalayan salt, about a tablespoon. About a tablespoon of garlic powder. and some ground pepper. And then the rest of our tomato soup that we have left, so it's about a half can. And a whole chopped onion. And then we're going to add in two eggs. And then we'll just mix this meatloaf. It's best to mix everything with your hands. It comes out the perfect consistency. Using some type of mixer or fork doesn't really get it the right texture. It over mixes it and it's tough. And I added in a cup of oatmeal. And now you can see the meatloaf is ready in its foil pouch to go right into the Instant Pot. And I double layered the foil. I'll also have the recipe for this linked below in the description box along with the Mrs. Meyers Clean Day product link and then there will be a link for your free set of facial products also if you're interested in that. Our meatloaf is ready to go in the Instant Pot. So we're just going to get the lid and get that secured on to the pot and make sure that the nozzle is turned over to venting or turned over to sealing. Sorry, we want it on sealing, not venting. So we're just going to set the instant pot on manual for 25 minutes. As your Instant Pot comes up to pressure, it'll switch from this timer to on. And it'll start to come up to pressure. While the Instant Pot is coming up to pressure, I like to go ahead and prep the Brussels sprouts. So I'm just using a baking sheet that's covered with some aluminum foil and I have some cooking spray. The kind I have on hand is just a coconut non-stick cooking spray. So I'm just gonna spray that onto the foil. And then just put the Brussels sprouts on top there. And I like to sprinkle them with some of the garlic powder and some salt 
and then just make sure they're in a nice even layer on your baking sheet. And I'm gonna add some pink Himalayan sea salt here. I just kind of eyeball these. I would say maybe it's about a teaspoon to a tablespoon of salt and garlic powder. And then I'm going to drizzle on some oil. I prefer the extra virgin olive oil for roasting vegetables in the oven. It just gives it a nice flavor and they roast up nice. So we're just going to drizzle on some oil. And then I just mix that in and make sure all the vegetables are coated. You could do this in a Ziploc bag and just shake them all around if you want to. I just kind of mix them around with my hand and then wash my hands once I'm finished. And then I'm going to set the oven on 300 and roast these while the meatloaf is cooking in the Instant Pot. So about 25 minutes on 300 degrees. And then as I was preparing those, the Instant Pot came up to pressure and it says on. It's normal for some steam and some sputtering to come out of the Instant Pot until the pin drops. And then once the pin drops, it doesn't make any noise or anything until you go to quick pressure release at the end. So once it's all the way to pressure, the timer starts counting down. Sorry, we live on a busy highway. We have a little farmhouse and our dogs are barking at the traffic driving by and if you can hear any of the traffic I'm sorry it's just a really busy area so the instant pot is finished and I turned it to venting to finish letting the steam out and now it's time to take our meatloaf out That looks so delicious. So I'm just gonna pull the meatloaf out of the Instant Pot. I'm gonna use the same sheet that I cooked the Brussels sprouts on just to pop the meatloaf in the oven. Our potatoes are all nice and done. And I'm just going to spoon on the topping to the meatloaf. and just try to get it as evenly coated as possible. My family really likes this meatloaf. I know a lot of people say they don't like meatloaf or it's really gross, but this meatloaf is such a delicious recipe. My husband always says that there's not any meatloaf that anyone else has made or that you can get from a restaurant or buffet that is as good as this meatloaf. He just loves it and so does the kids. All right, so it's all ready just to pop in the oven. We're gonna put that under the broiler for just a few minutes. Watch it closely until it just starts to bubble up and you can see it's bubbled up there and ready to pull out of the oven. And our Brussels sprouts are baking. I have a double oven in our kitchen, so it's really nice. I can, you know, roast things and cook desserts and stuff like that at the same time as I'm cooking other stuff. I love it. The Brussels sprouts are all nice and done. I'm just going to take those off of the pan and put them into a little serving bowl 
with about one to two tablespoons of butter. And just mix that in. They taste better with butter on them. And I'm using my favorite little bowl. I love owls. We have four of these little bowls and they're just so cute. I love them. I found those at Walmart. So our Brussels sprouts and our meatloaf are all done. Just gonna make a dinner plate up so you guys can see the finished result. This looks so good. And you can top your meatloaf with cheese or something if you wanted to, I guess. I don't do that. I like mine plain, but it is so good however you choose to eat it. You can add some more ketchup if you want to. So I really hope that this gives you some inspiration on a different meal idea for you and your family. Thank you so much for watching my channel. Please hit that subscribe button on the way out. Bye.